Hi everyone, I hope you are. This is Coins Kid. Um, just quickly before I begin, I get such good feedback on these videos, guys, and I really do appreciate that. You know, I, I I do try to be honest. I don't try to beat around the bush. I will tell you as I see it. You know, and I'll, I'll deliver a level of honesty to you. Hopefully, you have got a lot of Moon Boys on 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 uh, YouTube here, and you have got a lot of those kind of thumbnails like "Click this, it's going to the moon" or "Important update." On Bitcoin, must see, must take this trade, and all that kind of crap. It's very clickbaity. I, I have been advised to get a little bit more clickbaity to pull in the views, but you know what? I'll try and keep it as transparent and, and honest as I can, guys. I might step my thumbnails up a little bit, so you might see a bit of that. But so far, so good. The community is growing really well, and obviously, all I'm trying to do is build a level of, of trust and, and honesty with you guys. You know, just say what I see, okay? So basically. Once again, thank you for all the support, guys. Really do appreciate it. And please do jump in the Telegram group there if you're not already involved. The link is in the video uh, description of the video. Below, you just click that little down icon there and, and, and you'll see it, okay? So what I'm going to do, guys, is jump into the Bitcoin chart right now. And you can see we're getting this bit of a relief rally. We had this bottom here yesterday. This is a four-hourly time frame, guys, okay? At the moment, you know, on the four hourly, you know, I'm going to be frank with you. We are in a downtrend because on the four hourly, we were under the EMAs. We've got the bearish cross and obviously we've been pushed down. And you can see this larger correction here. We did seem to be coming up. We got above this 20 EMA. And this is vital, guys. In, in a reverse trend, in a reversal, you know, you you do need to see yourself getting above these EMAs. Because look over here, you, you, you got the bearish cross and you were being forced down, forced down. But then you had that nice bounce there. And then Bitcoin just went up, tested the resistance there. You see, like pretty much like what it's doing now. You see that but then it bolted through okay and as soon as it bolts through guys and gets above this resistance of the emas back test it you always want to see the back test of support as well guys so for example if you, if you could see this right even here is a primary example where you got through and you know you think right i'm gonna open the trade and go long on bitcoin no 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 you need to see that back test of support okay you do need that back test of support on the emas and bounce before you even think of going in a trade okay and that that's what i tell all all my subscribers the same when you go bearish you know when you break through you can break through at any point but then look for the back test look for the back test as resistance to, to continue in the trend okay because just there that could have been a fake out i.e you know a fake breakdown you could have seen that and then bounce back up and, and, and carried on going so you always you always open your trade on the retest of the ema guys as, as well as and there's other confluence that you can look into as well but you know just stick with the channel and, and i'll try and educate you and teach you as best as i can on that okay so this here as you can see pretty much like we had this dump here we had that correction we went down and you can see just there we toyed with the the 20 ema on the four hourly time frame there we did get through it and then we come back down but then the buying pressure stepped in again hence that wick there guys see that wick that's a very bullish wick it's called a bullish hammer where the, the wick's really long at the bottom and the body's towards the top that means that the buying pressure come in and push the wick up then we literally almost got the close there with bodies just almost above the the 20 ema there and that's also what you want to see you want to see the candle closing okay you want to see the top of the candle closing above these lines because that that is confirmation that you are above and in an uptrend okay and this is confirmation here that you're seeing the candles close below the line that you are in a downtrend so so far as you can see bitcoin is in a four hourly downtrend and you can see that it's hit the bottom here okay gone down and it's got this really nice little bounce here this is called a relief rally okay so what you need to see okay you could say well, well i think bitcoin's going to the moon and, and go long here but what i would wait for guys if, if you are looking to enter bitcoin you're not already involved then do wait for us to get through this ema back test it as support push on get through the 55 ema and back test that as support if you see if you do see that then yeah bitcoin's reversed its trend and it's looking bullish and we're looking like we're going up but at the moment i'm going to be honest with you guys we are in a downtrend for bitcoin and you can see that we've gone down we've come back up we've corrected we've come back up but we are hitting our head on the four hourly time frame and i do i do target the four hourly mainly because it's sort of a mid-term time frame and it does give you a broader view of like what's going on if you dive any deeper guys you can be fooled really you know if you, if you start going looking at the one hour the one hour is good for for other prospects like for example the one hour on here we, we have printed something called a, a inverse head and shoulders here guys so you've got this type of pattern here okay so basically you got the neckline of the inverse head and shoulders so you see bitcoin come down corrected form this low here then a high a lower low sorry then it couldn't quite get another low so that's basically the, the, the bears are running out of steam 
okay so for, for a part there you're going to see a bit of a relief rally but just there what you do you've got the neckline which acts as resistance okay in this inverse head and shoulders it's going back up it was struggling to get through there got back up and back tested it always look for that back test guys for you into a trade so just there would have been a great entry you know on on this trade if you was interested and you, you were watching this pattern here personally i wasn't because i was asleep so i didn't see this pattern i've only just seen it this morning and uh you can see that we back tested it got the confirmation that we've got broke the neckline okay of the resistance of this inverse head and shoulders can you see that left shoulder head right shoulder and and the target is basically i'll show you the target guys what you do you go from a neckline there to the to the head the tip of the head and potentially you're looking at bitcoin pushing up to that level there guys so you may see bitcoin at some point today continue that trend because what you're seeing on the one hour is really really good here okay so on the one hour time frame what you've got is your back test you broke through you've actually broke through the 20 EMA here on the hourly time frame okay you've actually back tested the 55 and bounced off it as well and what you look to be forming now on the hourly time frame is a little bit a uh, bull pennant guys and basically a bull pennant is like that where it sort of goes sideways like this you know in a, 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 a diagonal sort of uh pattern where it starts tightening up before it experiences a, another breakout and from that you can measure that breakout because that's the flagpole okay basically guys and you can see from there that will validate our head and shoulders so potentially you know if, if bitcoin doesn't correct here okay and falls back below this support line now of this neckline of this head and shoulders then this inverse head and shoulders is validated okay so it moves always valid until it's invalidated it could be invalidated like this guys when it goes up like it is now gets rejected comes back down and then it bounces back on the, the that line as, as resistance and then this you know pushes down and this neckline here is broken so if bitcoin was to correct any further than this sort of line here guys below then this whole inverse head and shoulders is invalidated and that's the way it works guys okay that's uh basic head and shoulders pattern just there so basically yeah you are looking potentially if you can break out of this ball pendant now for 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 uh bitcoin on the hourly time frame you are looking at that target just there guys for bitcoin so what we'll do we'll measure that i'll drop that in for you now guys so if you was to break out sort of from this point here what you will be looking for is a bit of a breakout on, on this resistance you can see it's already in it as resistance so you'll see the pressure coming down you're probably getting a retest off this 55 ema as well there guys so so, so you're probably getting a retest off this 55 EMA again, again which is good if it gets that retest and bounces and you are looking at this probability of this inverse head and shoulders uh playing out guys and you know from here that that particular trade is another 2.75 percent for, for bitcoin but if you was to have took on this trade when you when you got the retest there so you've broke through at the retest and you thought right we're off to the races you would have been looking at a 4.84 percent trade on bitcoin if it completes this uh, inverse head and shoulders move guys so sometimes zooming in on the hourly is good for intra trading just like that but if you're looking for a long-term prospect guys like almost like a daily then always do check the four hourly so basically if if this validate if this inverse head and shoulders gets validated now on bitcoin then if you look at the four hourly guys you will see bitcoin break through this 20 ema on the four hourly time frame push up and potentially hit its head on the 55 that is actually a good thing for bitcoin okay because you do want to see it breaking these emas okay making this reversal getting through these emas back testing them as support pushing through and that would actually bring us back into this uh descending triangle pattern here guys that we are targeting in the channel if you look We've got this descending triangle pattern here right okay and we were trading inside of it and then we broke down so effectively because you broke down you do have a target out of the triangle which is down here guys okay it's a very very bearish scenario as you know we we told you in the channel it's that's your target something like that and it brings you down there okay guys so at the moment because we're in the downtrend that is our target so to invalidate this breakdown you have to come back into the triangle and then break out above and you do see our target up there above so that's how it works guys just keep an eye on it bitcoin in in, in the four hourly time frame there and, and good luck to those that do take that trade on do keep an eye on the ball pendant now on the hourly time frame guys because it does look good you know until this inverse head and shoulders gets invalidated on the hour like i said to you falls back below the, the the resistance line there okay then then it's still a valid move and um yeah if you look on the hour hourly here, guys we do have a bit of a hidden divergence here which is confluence in itself of the bitcoin reversal so you've got the high there and the lower high okay on the hourly time frame here guys don't forget but then in in the in the rsi there guys you you have got that uh where are we just there 
which is a, a low and a higher low so that's actually a hidden divergence guys okay and that's usually indicative because what's happening here that the price is going the, the price action is going down the RSI is going up so it's it's basically a, a hidden little divergence which says you know we're looking at a reversal soon and, and lo and behold the, the RSI continued up and then we got that that little bounce off the bottom there so at the moment you know Bitcoin looks potentially like it could form that recovery again keep an eye on the four hourly time frame here guys okay keep an eye on this on the four hourly time frame because you do need to see us pop above this 20 EMA get back back to stick support potentially get back into this uh, descending triangle here guys and, and then we could be off to the races for Bitcoin so that's Bitcoin okay I'm just going to jump on to Ethereum right now so unfortunately as you can see Ethereum in itself is is it is in in a really bad downtrend at the moment guys unfortunately you know it doesn't look too too great for bit uh, Ethereum um, yesterday we did give you this update on this uh, double top pattern I think my levels are a little bit wrong there to be honest with you I'm going to redo that uh, I, I was sort of rushing yesterday so re-looking at that now on the four hourly time frame guys what you do when you do form these patterns it's always best to look on a daily because then you can see a clearer picture so what we'll do we'll zoom out click auto guys that's what you do and then take auto off and then you move your, your you chart around like this guys okay you move it around like that and basically you can see we have formed that double top and what happens there that it goes up okay we, we form that top we come back down we get a bounce off some kind of support which would have been this previous high there you get your bounce and you move up but then when you fail to make that break that high there you, you are forming a double top okay and it's basically an indication that the the, the trends running out of steam so to speak and, and the buying pressure is running out of steam okay so what people do you target the M like that and you've got your target like that guys okay so basically you know you've gone up and you've got the bounce off there and you've gone up and you're forming this M double top pattern okay guys and if you was to lose it it is a very bearish thing because what happens is if you was to lose this level of support okay you run out of steam and you go back down to a previous level of support and usually the way uh, technical analysis target this is the, the highest peak down to the, the, the support line of the M and, and that's where your target is which is our target down there guys okay which takes us down to that level there $800 plus which we charted yesterday so you know you do need to keep an eye on that for, for Ethereum um, you know if it was to break down any more guys then this really does need to kick into gear this level of support because Ethereum could go super bearish and we don't want that guys do we we don't want that we want want Ethereum to bounce it's a beast it's, it's a really good project and as you can see at the moment you know we did fall under the daily 55 EMA but we have got bought back up okay so that is really good okay and at the moment on you know on the daily if you look we are making high lows so we've got the, the low there okay so we've got a low a low and then a low and then a, another low so potentially you know what what happens is if you start to fall through that low that, then you're creating a lower low so you're reversing the trend okay so you don't need to see us fall down there guys and what's what's good now is we are getting that level of support off this 55 EMA okay we went down we got that correction you can see it's being brought back up it's a relatively bullish wick actually that's a, a shooting star there it's pretty pretty bearish wick actually but that was yesterday it was a big dump so at the moment you need to see this close guys you need to see this close today above the 55 EMA for Ethereum okay on the, on the daily time frame check for that close above because that that will be quite bullish and it'll be basically an indicator of reversal and that the dumps over and we can like get a back test of support of the 55 EMA there because if you look on the EMAs here we still we're still super bullish okay you know we're still super bullish because look we, we made that bullish cross down now on the daily time frame way back in October and we've been doing nothing but going up and, and numerous times we've back tested the 55 EMA you know only a couple of times there actually so this is probably a really really bigger correction on the grand scheme of things but again it's just refueling these rocket ships guys we do want to see these retests of the EMA but if you were to look at this on the grand scheme of things it does look like it is kind of running out of steam if you, if you know what I mean guys when you look at it okay so basically that's that's Ethereum. What we'll do, we'll have a quick look on the hourly time frame, see if we can spot any kind of trade like we have Bitcoin. So at the moment, not really much going on. It looks like some kind of rising wedge actually off the, off the bottom of the, uh, off the bottom now, off, off that correction. Okay, so that might be some kind of rising wedge pattern, which fundamentally is, is actually quite bullish guys, uh, bearish guys, I apologize, quite bearish. So basically you've got your bottom there. Okay, so we go some, that sort of pattern and it's basically like an elongated bear flag guys. Okay, you know, so where you sort of going tight and tight and tight, 
we are hitting our head on this is the hourly time frame as well okay so we are hitting our head at the moment on the on the 55 okay we're being caught under that you do need to see us get above that and break out of this uh, falling wedge type pattern because the target from this falling wedge is obviously the, the very bottom of the wedge which is roughly back down there so you may see a larger correction for ethereum uh, back down to this level guys okay so do keep an eye on that hopefully you know we can break out of that and, and push up if we look at it on the four hourly quickly for ethereum yeah again on the four hourly you can you can see that we are forming this kind of rising wedge type pattern where we sort of tightening up as we're getting closer to the top we are hitting our head on this four hourly 20 ema there guys and, and that has gone bullet uh, bearish so you are currently caught in a downtrend on ethereum unfortunately you know hopefully you know what you want to see in these corrections guys and i do tell everyone this is a double bottom you know you do need to see that double bottom because basically it's just a test of support on, on a on a reversal you get the double bottom retest and then away you go you know you, you and then you do break those levels of resistance on the way up so potentially even if ethereum was to to lose this now and fall out and make this double bottom that is a very bullish continuation pattern guys just test the support so again just keep an eye on the four hourly and hopefully we don't you know hit our head on that and fall out of that because that is your target down there for ethereum if we can get through that get through this 20 ema here back test it support you know something like this get through it back test the support then march on and back test the the, the 55 ema support then it'll be clear skies guys okay so that's the update for for bitcoin and ethereum i'm going to do the other videos now i hope you do enjoy those videos and i will keep you updated in all truthfulness and honesty in the channel as best as i can guys but please do head over to the telegram group and i'll catch you soon take care bye bye